If you were to give me and everyone who's here today the single best advice as to what to be in the moment, to really truly wholeheartedly speak, to be an up uplifter in, in the moment to the core of your being, what would you say? Would there be a rampage? Would there be a dialogue? What can you offer us? This is what we wish you to know. Your best focus or work, if you want to call it, or attention, if you want to call it, in any moment in time is to be advocating your best influence, which means it's your constant attention in the preparation and maintenance of your vibrational atmosphere. Because it's about reception, 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 which means it's about tuning, 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 which means it's about allowing the well being. So it's about selectively sifting. And really, you know what it starts with? So this is the answer that your question is calling from us in a powerful way. Be nice to you. Be nice to you. Rest well. Eat well. Get out where beautiful things are. Play with people who are fun. Think thoughts that feel good. Watch movies that are uplifting. In other words, be nice to you. The other parts of it, the step one and the step two, take care of themselves without you even needing to know what you're doing. But step three, that receptive mode, you got to tend to it, which means be nice to yourself and quiet your mind every now and again. But be nice to yourselves. Think nice things about yourself and think nice things about others. Netflix sent Esther an email. They know her personally. <laughs> with a recommendation of something that she might want to see. She looked at it and she said, do you even know who I am? It was such an odd recommendation. And then she thought, I don't think that watching that would be conducive to me creating an environment where I am receiving and encouraging wonderful things. She could tell just by the title of it that it was going to make her guarded and defensive and worried about stuff. And so be nice to yourself. Advocate for yourself. One day, Esther was grumbling at Jerry about something. Hard for her to imagine now because she only remembers him as perfect now. <laughs> change that past <laughs> he was close to it but he said to her one day when she was grumbling at him I think it would be nice if you would pretend that I'm Kate and Kate at the time was their granddaughter who was about five years old and Esther did not have the ability or the capacity to think anything other than lovely thoughts about Kate. It couldn't happen. And Jerry thought that he would like to be held in that same light by Esther. <laughs> and that's sort of what we're getting at. Pick your favorite whatever it is on the planet and pretend that you're it. And treat yourself as you would treat that. Be nice to yourself. And that will go the furthest of anything that you might do to creating this petri dish neutrality of an atmosphere that will allow yourself to be so receptive to the wisdom and the love that is naturally who you are. I know everything is always working out for me 100% of the time. At the beginning of this year, something happened where there was an accident, quote unquote, that I was in. And I was on the phone with my friend Jenny at the time. And I said to her, you know, really don't know why this is happening, but I do know that it's happening for something much, much bigger than myself. So long story short, it went through the process. And from that, I saw the law enforcement officers that are working for the Broward Sheriff's Office. And, you know, this gentleman was there because I know he was meant to be there, but he didn't need to be there in that moment. He was working on other things, but because of this thing that happened through the fault of someone else, he was there and he came over and he did what he needed to do. And I received something in the middle of it. And I'm like, I'm here because I'm meant to be here to see what these men and women do every day. He was working on something else. He came over to help me. The stress that was created through the fault of someone else 
and me being there seeing that was such a huge awareness. I, I was never in that space before. It was always, oh my gosh, a car accident of this and the cooperative components of everyone that showed up that day. Give us a little more because you said it twice. What do you mean by the fault of someone else? Well, I attracted what happened to me, the cab driver. <laughs> I take responsibility wholeheartedly. But what did you mean? You said it twice. What did you mean by the fault of someone else? So the cab driver re reversed into me, and I got out of the car, and he tried to drive off. So the cab driver had an experience with a cooperative component that was me. Yes. Yes, 100%. We just want to play with that a little bit because we're speaking right to where you're going. Co-creative moments happen. If we're going to take your premise, and we are, and we're going to agree with you, and we are, that things are always working out for you, and they are, then is there ever a moment in time when it's accurate to point at fault? Because doesn't fault indicate something asserting itself into my experience and doesn't that defy the laws of the universe as you know it to be I guess the words were were, were playing on what was in a report from insurance and law enforcement <laughs> We understand that, but we want to go with the whole premise of this whole idea that you're unfolding here with us. We want to acknowledge that cooperative components all around, everyone a cooperative component, because the way you started this conversation and what you were laying out is that things always happen for a reason, and we want to stick in there. Things always happen for a good reason. There's always some value in something that is happening. And if you start with that premise, then doesn't that automatically take out of the equation for yourself that happened because of the fault of someone else. There can't be a rendezvous with someone unless there's more than one of you there. If that cab driver had, in his faulty nature, just been driving around backwards and there'd been no one for him to run into, <laughs> then there wouldn't have been an accident. So aren't you equally responsible? Why in the world would you put yourself somewhere where somebody's going to back into you? If we're really going to start talking about that sort of stuff, and do you think that both of you created that so that the police officers would have a job? Because if none of you were doing any of that, then what would he be doing? Just wandering around on the freeways? He'd have no reason for living. <laughs> we're just emphasizing the we're all in this together thing that we started with earlier. We are all in this together. My angel, the hotel manager, had video surveillance, and I was very much humbled through that experience and through everything, knowing that it was working out for the highest and best of everyone involved. I, I felt inspired through that to see what these men and women do, and I've now created a non-for-profit organization entitled We Love BSO Day to really create a magical day of appreciation and love for the Broward Sheriff's Office, and I realized that's why I was there that day. Well, we'd like that the universe gives you endless opportunities to appreciate one another. And we jumped into this in a different way than you expected us to. And the reason that we did is because we want you to realize, because you're talking about now, we're talking about now, the importance of now. And when you have made it your point, which was the answer to the most important question that you set forward here today, what would we encourage you to do? What matters most? And we said, it's the accomplishment and the maintenance of your vibrational alignment with who you are, so that you're consistently tuned in tapped in, turned on, which means you've got this non-physical energy pouring through you so that your influence moment by moment by moment is dominant. And what is that influence? Well, it's an influence that is as vast as the details of the people whom you're interacting with. It's fun to look around for causes, and it's really fun to find one, something that you can specifically flow your energy toward. And we understand how satisfying that can be. But we want you to broaden your scope on that just a little bit and feel how fantastically satisfying it can be 
to move around in your human body in your powerful now, connected with source energy who knows everything about you and everything about your relationship with everything else and everything about everybody around you and everything about their relationship with everything else. And you follow those feelings of inspiration for that constant state of upliftment that's being offered. That feeling of finding a cause and being able to focus toward it is the way your inner being feels about you all the time. You're always moving around. And do you know what the dominant intent of your inner being who shines through you is in every moment of every day? To influence those who are around you back to their natural state of well-being. And so just you being in that state of well-being is you answering your cause. You being in that open state, just a smile across a hallway to someone that, in other words, we're not for a moment suggesting that it isn't wonderful that you've set this thing in motion and that you've got this thing going. We just don't want you to underestimate the glances across the room or the comments just in the right place. When you've got source energy pouring through you, you are answering your call and promoting your cause every moment that you're moving through population people. Every moment. I see that when I show up for certain scenarios where it's like, oh, study more, study more, prepare more. And it's like just the smile or being there is so much more beneficial. So, Well, you did all the work in step one. We're just going to keep saying it. You've done the work. You've created it. Now just create an environment that lets you experience it. And it is also much fun when your influence is such that you draw a whole bunch of other people into the success of the unfolding with you. It's so natural for you to feel good. And yet you're helping us to say something here that matters a lot. It's so natural to feel good. And yet it feels like you need a flag and you need a cause and you need a sign and you need a day and you need a monument. And we just want to say, we think it's a little wacky. <laughs> That just natural well-being doesn't seem like it's enough. But it speaks to how people get away from that. Oh, I had this tuned in moment and these wonderful things happened. It was the weirdest thing, you say. <laughs> and what we want to hear you say is, yeah, everything is always working out for me. And lots of different things are happening, but it's always working out for me. And most of all, I'm having way fun. Way, 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 way fun. <laughs> <laughs>